Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is, I don't know if it's going to help too many people, but I'm actually making the video for one person to explain what I did. He uh, is a fan of mine, maybe a subscriber, and asked me, he, he somehow imported these off of a, maybe a scanner, and brought them into Corel, and part of the, you know, they're, they're scroll saw patterns. And part of them, parts parts are missing, and like this doesn't have any center rings. So I thought I'd look at it, and I cleaned it up, and I've already sent it to him. But I thought I'd show him what I did and what was going on. If you lasso all this, you can see some nodes here. So there's something going on. So if you look down here, you've got a color field. It's filled with white. So let's just double click on that and put no fill. That's all that took. Now, as in my other videos, I always do this. And what I'm going to do different, I'm going to make this yellow. I'm going to put it to the back of the page. So all, everything I bring in there will be on the front of the page. So that's already done. Now I can see a couple of nodes right there that need to be removed. And it might be part that I, I grabbed. And then, then there's this part. And it's the same thing. It's filled with white. So let's go ahead and bring it over here. And you can see it's, it's, it's filled with white. So let's double click on that. No fill. Now if you zoom in. Sorry. Computer's acting up a little bit. Oh. If you zoom in here, you've got a good, pretty good crisp hairline. The other one has double hairlines. So somehow I was able to grab just one of them. There's actually two there. So we only need this one. And I would just get rid of all this and then just put it back and then control D and make you a copy and that was done. And then just a double check to make sure they're complete, you know, filling in with a color with your uh, smart field tool. Now this one's a little different. It's actually, there's something behind there. There's two layers. So we've got a white background. So let's just take away the back white background and then right. So let click, left click your mouse there, right click your mouse here. And the same thing on these, you've got two layers. Let's get that out of the way. Let's now, I, if you can see there's some parts in here that are showing up. So I always lasso. And just kind of look, make sure there aren't any nodes. Put this back over there. Delete this one completely. And there's a lot more there than you think. Now this one I think is okay. It doesn't have a white background. So let's make them all red. And then I would just double check it with my, your yellow box. And... You don't need this anymore. So just control D and make you another copy of that. Now you've done a lot of work right in this area. I'm going to take away this quarter inch thickness. So what I want to do before, if I was going to do it, if I was going to cut these out, I'd move them completely out of the way. You know, they're good and clean because they don't show up, but don't just lasso that. Grab that object, because I'm going to show you something. You can lasso that, but you can see that it's not. Let's just encompass the whole area we're working on. Bam. There's some, yeah, I could actually see it, but there's some little red dots. So just encompass everything. And then I've already cleaned them up here, but let's, for a second, I'm going to delete those. And I always do this, hit F4 on your keyboard, 
And if only what is brought up is zoomed in on, then you're clear. Then there's nothing, you know, let's just do this. Now hit F4, and it's zoomed in to everything plus that box. Anyway, you might have that might have helped a little bit for some people when you get something and you can't see something. You know, draw the yellow box. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.